Hello, hello, welcome back to my space, welcome back to Mark After Me. I am True and I'm here to talk with you as my Friday vlog, as normal, as usual. Ah, uh, please subscribe, like this video. I am super happy. Leo season is coming. Cancer is leaving behind. Bye. But right now, I'm talking about self love and sex. Yeah, sex. Everybody likes sex, but things that people don't like to have sex with themselves and uh, the word masturbation get really like, <gasps> what are you doing? What are you talking about? And I'm like, huh? If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will leave over here, if I am not grown, uh, links of all my Friday vlogs. This is the topic, is self-love will be equal uh, as sex with yourself, that's one of the things, and how that can actually help you to explore more inside of your fears and what you really like the most, what is you want to experiment with. But first of all, I think you have to do it yourself first, rather than just discover everything when you are in a relationship, makes sense? Actually by yourself and you are totally alone, you don't have another option to deal with your own thoughts, your own feelings, your own self, and more you are in harmony with who you are and how much you are building the best friend in yourself, more easy your relationship will be outside because also you will be knowing what is the best for yourself and what is the, not even best, what is, what can complement you, what can actually work with you. So when we talk about self-love, it's a very small details every single day. When you wake up in the morning, when you have the different coffee, a different coffee, <laughs> when you have a coffee, when you have a breakfast, when you have everything, you are constantly thinking. It's, just, it's, just, it's impossible to stop the brain. What you have to do is managing your thoughts when you're thinking. And when you manage your thoughts, it's when becoming self-love, and we're talking about build your own friendship, right? And not all of us, I didn't have it, uh, I didn't have it, I've been building up for five or six years right now, I'm pretty new of this, but I have to say it's very powerful. So every single time that you stick with, of course, discipline, and every single time that you're able to listen to your body and listen to what your thoughts are saying, you're able to be an observer, to be uh, the selector of the thoughts you want to have, that you really want to have. I will go to the point, when you have the self-love and you're building up, at some point you need to have sex, I need, at some point you need to have that needs met, your body need a release of energy, you, you can be horny, you can be absolutely horny without touching anyone, it's just because your body is saying, hey, I need to meet that, I need to have that needs met and are you going to do something? So. You know, not all of us have this in a school to say, um, you know, you have a sexual education and then you know what is going to be inside. You know how your vagina or your penis is going to work. You don't know nothing about that. So the way that you do it is by exploration. What I can encourage you as a self-love action to have a self-sex is <laughs> start to touching yourself first. I know how that sounds. Hey. But please don't judge me because I do think that that's the most powerful thing that every single human being have to do before to encounter anything. Because first of all, it's emotions in the middle. Second of all, if you're very naive, you can be caught up in uh, the mixture between sex and love. And, and this is something that we don't want to get involved with. All is a process of cycles, so you are going to go over and over again with different cycles of the same cycle until you learn the lesson, right? When you have the act of self-love and you touch yourself at some point, you discover layers of layers of points that you have pleasure with. Don't be afraid to look into the mirror. At least like know what happened in there. You know what I mean? Because don't relay everything or don't relay all the power of your sexuality to another person. And also I do think that it's not fair either. Not fair for you and not fair for the person that you are. Let me know if you agree with me. And give me more ideas. Give me everything. If you think that I can still talking about this, when I try 
to get here is in the point of if you're practicing self-love you can't take it off sex from the equation but when you have the sex with yourself you are able to know exactly what you like and what you don't like that give you a pretty hand to go to a sexual relationship quite more safe more in a mental space where you will be a little bit more in control of what you desire and you can be more open-minded if you're able to try new things you have to be able to have these functions works because even if you go to the relationship with someone else if you feel ashamed in your body if you feel that your body is not correct if you don't like to watch yourself in the mirror what do you think your sexual health or your sexual experience would be i think that everything relates to mental health and everything relates to what happened in our brain and our habits and how the way we talk with ourselves and if you are single it's fine you don't need to have a man to have a sexual pleasure period you're gonna go to the bed with someone else you will totally be honest to say i like this i don't like that I would love to you go more fast, I would love to you go more slow, I like to more romanticism, I like to play before. You know, I don't like these five minutes of, se of sexual encounter in us. I like to play around, I like to do stuff. But how are you gonna know what you like if you're not able to touch yourself? <laughs> you don't totally, totally, like, ask you please to be free. So don't feel ashamed because you touch yourself, because you discover that you have a G point. I don't know if you call it like this in English, but go for it. Like use your fingers, use lubricants, use toys, just anything, because all of that is going to ask you to have the power of self-love first. So whoever's going to come to your life, if you are single in this situation, you are going to know it. You're not going to be playing around, you're going to be wasting time for people who doesn't know even how to touch you and on the same time you can teach the person that you love how to touch you because not everybody here, you know, we have a guidance um, to how to touch another person. So the way that you can actually involve and, you know, <sighs> embrace your power is adding that sexuality on it. And that is going to be now more into women now is because women just for men actions to be empowered to be singles to be uh, ha, sexy we are being having that, that seed in our brain that is this is wrong this is wrong if you are sexy if you like sex if you're one with the one man and if you have sex with different guys you are a whore that is bullshit and I don't care what I'm trying to say here and if you feel any time by your sexual encounter your sexual desire you feel down sit down with it don't run away sit down with it because what I don't want is someone use you or make you feel bad is because you don't even discover what's your sexual pleasure at the moment take the responsibility take that responsibility to say I want to self-love I want to be in charge of my pleasure you look google <laughs> 2020 you're gonna have a lot of solutions there you're gonna have a lot of specialists about sexual uh, relationships about self-sex so i'm gonna ask you for so many things that you can go for you can like be proactive if you masturbate yourself if you do sex with yourself if you do it because you love yourself what is the problem who cares own your sexual weapon that is there give it some pleasure invest in yourself if it's possible and if you don't know too much you like feel ashamed go to the therapy and talk about it put yourself in your own hands first how you can handle yourself first how you can do the things first check that out feel like be your own influencer <laughs> but at the beginning you know what the other person should be knowing it should be shouldn't be doing or don't want you to do it that's why it's like the thing like you are in power of your own sexual relationship you are in power of your own sexual encounter with yourself and it's totally healthy so please keep give yourself pleasure do it do it every single time that you want it every single time that you need it because your body is asking so 
Work in self-love, work in habits, do a discipline, commit with yourself at some point to say, I really want to just have sex with myself and not feel guilty about it. Just say that life is just one, it's really good to like go to adventure, it's really good to go out and experiment life, but don't go crazy and don't go like a fool. So go first, check in so first, check with yourself first to see what actually happened and what you can discover because at the end we are in this world to remember who we are and to bring it back to the earth what we are thank you so much for joining me so far and uh, please subscribe please subscribe and like this video it will be absolutely super helpful and if you like it please share leave the comment below because i want to engage with you more often i would love to hear you more and that's it i am true this is mark after me and bye bye